the Coleman's really getting one great test tonight. Hi everyone, I'm Mike and welcome back to Outdoor Adventure and Gear. And tonight I'm doing a second test of the Coleman Sundome two-person tent after it's been treated. Now, I previously did a video of this tent. I actually love this tent. It's a great tent for the value. But when I first initially tested it on a heavy rainstorm we had, it leaked. A small leak, but it did leak around some of the threading. Please go back and check the video out to see exactly what I meant. Since then, I've treated the seams that I thought that leaked, where I thought the threading was a little loose and where it had ran down the side and came inside the tent. I like to use a spray can and go over. I mean, I know you can do, I know you can do really detailed seam sealing, but that's not what I like to do in my tents. The Y method usually works, and I plan on doing a video of that soon. Since I've sealed the tent, I've only used it once. But of course, the weather was nice. Well, tonight we have a snow slash rainstorm coming in, and I thought it would be a perfect time to test the tent out again and see how she holds up after she's been treated. And she's all set up for the night. Let me find the zipper from the last time I used it. <laughs> is completely dry she should get a nice rain test she may even get a snow load test tonight which will be really cool to check out and see as she does when she initially leaked it was right over here I have since sprayed it on the outside and a little bit over here I've used it one time like I said earlier in the video but it was fair weather but tonight it's about 22 degrees outside it's supposed to warm up when the rain comes in she's gonna get a rain test wind test again and a snow load test hopefully <laughs> we're going to see how the weather goes we might get a fluff we might get one inch we could get three inches but either way she's getting retested again tonight and i'm looking to see how she does because i really do love this coleman tent and i love coleman products it's eight o'clock storm will be in in about two or three hours i'll come out then and give it a look i'll bring out while it's raining or while it's snowing we'll look inside then and i'll come back again one more time in the middle of the night and then come back tomorrow we'll see what she, how she did and i'm hoping she does really well i don't see how she won't and hopefully this makes uh, some people decide whether they want to buy a coleman or not okay guys change the plans from last night now the storm that was coming in was supposed to get here about 10 o'clock it didn't come in until 5 a.m this morning so that's why i never came back out and looked at the tent it wasn't raining yet and no snow. So we didn't get to test it for a snow load, which I'm pretty bummed out about. I thought we would. But we did get a lot of rain. Matter of fact, we are still getting rain and it's gonna rain all day and into the night. So we're gonna take a look inside the tent, see how she did. I don't expect any problems after treating it. And then I'm gonna let it sit out here all day in the rain, testing it more. And I'll see how she is by tonight. Get this zipper undone. Now, I don't want to take any water in the tent. Um, anything gets in there for me, that's different. And just as I suspected, she's as dry as a bone. Let me take you guys in there. That right there is where she had its, the problem the last time. There is no water in here at all. And all I did was a very light spray of treatment that I use. So she did well, I'm happy with her. If you happen to get a Coleman tent and she has any small issues, the one I purchased did, it was a very small issue that took me actually two minutes to fix it's like that with any product you guys you get we all know you can get there's going to be some in that don't perform the way they should and there's going to be some that outperform the way they should mine just had that small flaw i took care of it i've got no more water in the tent i'm happy with it we're gonna let it sit out here again for the rest of the day and into the night that should be a nice uh 
probably 12 to 16 hours of rain. Good. Also, uh, that makes me not fearful to take this out and weather now and any uh, rain or winds. I've already exposed this thing to like 20 or 30 mile an hour winds. I know she holds up to that. All right, let's, let's close her back up. Let's see how she does. All right, guys, just wanted to come out and give a quick update. I haven't been inside the tent yet, and I don't want to go inside it. It has been inundated with over 24 hours of heavy rain, and it's supposed to rain like 12 more hours tonight, so I'm not going to go inside this tent. I'm hoping everything's great, but this test is even better than the first one I did. These are torrential downpours. Torrential. Wow. See it in 12 more hours. Okay, well, the storm's over, it's passed, and it was a heck of one, too. We're still having some after effects from wind, a lot of ground uh, soakage, a lot of puddles. <laughs> uh, our water table's definitely got to be up after that storm. So, next day, ready to take a look inside. I've walked around it, everything looks good. I'm praying she did well, I really am. I love Coleman products, but we're going to see. All right, let's open her up. I grabbed both of them. Now let me put you guys down for a sec. Bottom. Top. I'm not even going to look till I grab the camera. All right. What do we see? All right. God, she looks dry. And she got bombarded last night. I could say that the sides feel a little, not wet, but damp, maybe, but there is no water inside. Yeah, I'm looking around everywhere, guys. I don't feel any moisture. There's no way, if this had leaked, there'd be no way she'd be dry by now. Uh, just not warm enough out for here for that. It's still about 40 degrees today not much sun at all so there's no way it would have dried if it had gotten wet in here you'd still have puddles and i'm not seeing any leaking but i have to say maybe maybe a little damp that happens a lot with a lot of uh, single wall tents but there's no moisture inside here so she did good she did really good so after a torrential downpour I'd say for almost 24 hours, some heavy rains for several hours, but torrential downpours, downpours, sorry, <laughs> torrential downpours for almost 24 hours. The Coleman did it. Uh, of course, this is after I've treated it. I've treated along that one seam. You have to watch my previous video where it leaked one night that I did my first test on it. But uh, after doing a small treatment is all I did on the area where it leaked. She held up fine now. This tent did great in the wind. She's done great in that rain. And the only thing I'm really disappointed about is we didn't get any snow and I was really hoping we'd get to test it on a snow load. Uh, a dome tent like this usually does well on those types of uh, loads. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to take, you know, two feet of snow, but I wanted to see what six inches of snow would have did, but we're not ready for that type of weather yet. But the Coleman did it. The Coleman Sun Dome two-person tent did it. I treated it once and it worked great. Now with two tests under a belt and that being said, 
I recommend it. Uh, of course, I paid $35 for this tent, and just less than a month ago, they were on sale for $25 on Amazon. I don't need it, but if I <laughs> needed one or two, I would have bought a couple by then. Uh, this tent is great for car camping, family camping, those type of nature. I wouldn't take this backpacking. It's just too heavy. It does offer a lot of room. Two, you can easily fit two people in here because my wife and I have camped in it. I have not camped in it in the rain, and it seems like it hasn't worked out for me lately due to scheduling. I would take this out in the rain at a camp. Now, my nature, I would have still put a tarp over it. That's just the way I camp. But without a tarp, being totally exposed, it did well in heavy, heavy rains. And you can't beat it for $35. So that wraps it up, my friends. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out.